It's the most wonderful time of the year. We're going to start by writing in our letter names. And always the line, the note with a line through it, whether it's in this base staff here or in the treble staff, is middle C. So I always think it's helpful. Let's just write in all the middle C's on the page. Okay, so we have C, C, and C. Then we have A, B flat, F, D, and this note has a line attaching to this note. That's a tied note. And because this dotted quarter note gets counted for one, two, three, and it's tied to this count one, we're going to add those together. So actually when you play this note, it's going to hold for one, two, three, four. You don't actually play that note. Then we have B flat, G, and F. Here's another dotted half note for three counts. One, two, three. It's tied to this one, two, three. It's tied to this one, two, three. So three plus three is six plus three more. You're going to hold this note when you play it here for nine, nine counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And don't rob those counts because that kind of makes this song. It has that of the year. That's a long hold, held note. Then we're going to mark a G and an A. Okay, so that is the first page. And if you look up here, you'll see where your left hand, so middle C and lower is going to be your left hand notes. And in a little bit, I will put my hands on. My thumb is on C. My pointer is on B flat. A is 3, G is 4, and F is 5. And on this page, you only have two notes that are the right hand. Only these two notes. Everything else is going to be played with these notes and these fingers in the left hand. Okay, we're gonna go to page two. We'll mark our score over here. Again, there's a lot of left hand notes. I'm gonna just use my regular pencil. We have B flat, G, 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 A, B flat, C, A, 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 B flat, C, and then these are the same B flat. All right, we have a right hand note here and a right hand note here, but we have to go right, left, right. So the right hand is gonna play D and D. And then when we get to the next line here, we have another tied note, so we have to add. The dotted half note is three counts, plus the dotted half is three counts, that's six counts, and this is F. So we're gonna hold for one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's important that we actually rest. So you're gonna count a shh, ta, ta. So make sure you actually play the rest. A lot of kids just um, skip the rests, but there's nothing going on in the left hand. So we actually have to hear rest right there. And then we have E, oops, that looks like an F, E, D, left hand is middle C, C, F, D, middle C. Then the last line we have E, G, F. 
And let's see, can you figure out with this dotted half note tied to another dotted half note, tied to another dotted half note, tied to another dotted half note, three plus three plus three plus three. How many counts are you gonna hold this last note for? Did you say 12? <laughs> awesome. Okay, I'm gonna move the camera view so you can see my hands play this song. So my left hand is on middle C, finger two pointer is on B flat, and then we have A, G, and F. Every finger in the left hand is going to play. The right hand is gonna be right next door. The thumb is on D, E, F, and G. Those are going to be the notes you need to play in the right hand. Finger five's not going to play, so he's just going to rest there. So we start with the left hand. Rest. A, B flat, C, two, three, C, F, D, C, two, three, four, B flat, G, A, B flat, G, 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 A, B flat, C, A, 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 B flat, C, D, B flat, D, F, two, three, four, five, six, rest. And you might think, why do I have to hold it that long? And it's because every one of these songs in this book was written to actually be played as a duet. It's the most wonderful time of the year with the kids So I'm having troubles looking at the words up above and then looking at the teacher part below and making a few. But that is exactly why it's important to hold those longer notes. And especially if they're tied or if there's a rest, you have to go shh and then play because otherwise it throws off the timing and you don't stay together. And all of the songs in this collection have a really amazing duet part that goes with it. So hopefully in the future when we can um, have our lessons back in the studio, it'll be wonderful. The songs that you've already learned, we can do a little review and then play the duet parts together with them. It'll be really fun. Have fun learning this song. It's the most wonderful time of the year.